Today we're in a solar eclipse. We're going to be talking about winterizing your solar eclipse. Um, on here on the roadside underneath the dinette is where all of your um, valves and water and plumbing stuff is inside. Um, you've got a handful of valves down here by your water pump. Um, looks like four valves right there. And then you've also got bypass valves on your a hot water heater. We're going to talk about those in a second. So the first thing you want to do when you are uh, getting ready to winterize your unit is you want to completely drain all the water out of the out of all the tanks, out of everything. Um, so open up those valves, let it all drain out completely uh, before you start your winterizing process. We have a valve diagram on our support hub uh, that you can locate, and it'll tell you the right orientation of all those valves to make sure uh, you're draining everything properly. When it is time to start winterizing, you want to get your gallon of winterizer. Um, we've got this extra tube here. This goes into the winterizing um, fluid. Um, and then you're going to put your valves again. Change your valves to the right orientation. Uh, make sure you do not get water or uh, get the winterizing solution into your hot water heater. That will uh, damage that. Um, there are valve bypass valves here. You got to make sure those are in the right orientation. Make sure you're bypassing your hot water heater. Um, so you're going to lift those on, turn your water pump on, and it's going to start sucking that fluid um, into the system. You're going to go through to all of your water accessories. Go to your shower, your toilet, your kitchen faucet, and your spray away. Make sure that you get the, uh, typically it's a pink fluid, uh, runs out all of those. Um, you want to run those for a couple seconds. Make sure you get fluid all the way in there. Therefore, you, you don't have any cracking or anything when it um, the stuff freezes once it's expand. Um, Close that up, and then you're uh, you're good to go. You're winterized. It's a pretty easy process. Um, doesn't take too long, um, and it's, you can do it yourself. All right. One other thing to mention is on the outside of your unit, um, your hot water heater here. Uh, there is an anode right here. You want to make sure you take that out and completely drain your hot water heater. Uh, there is about six gallons of water in here. You want to make sure it does not freeze uh, in the winter. So take that out, um, and that'll completely drain your hot water heater.